What is going on you guys, it's your boy Bizman Cam here, back with another video, and today we are doing the interior of a 1999 Toyota Tacoma. I always get that messed up. Alrighty you guys, so here's a good look at the car. I'm kind of just doing a little walkthrough for you guys. Um, now the car wasn't super insanely bad, it was mainly filled with, you know, stains here and there on the seats. Obviously it is a 1999, and then in this clip you can see um, disgusting toenail clippings. Um, there was just a lot to vacuum and a lot of stains and unfortunately we had a mishap with my steamer um, during this detail so I wasn't able to use it uh, so you know cleaning stains and as well as like the center console and stuff was a lot more difficult and a lot more challenging but we still got the job done. Here I'm kind of just lifting up the mat so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like underneath. And this is the other side of the other back seat. Yeah, and here's the center console area that I'm talking about. Um, usually I would just spray the steamer down there and get rid of all the yucky stuff. But unfortunately, I just had to, you guys will see in the video, I just had to spray some ABC and work that down. But here, as you guys can see, I begin my vacuum process by just, you know, putting the long hose on, the narrow hose. For some reason, I like that better than the wide one. I feel like it's more direct power. And then I kind of just am using a little um, latex or whatever the material is, a uh, little dog hair brush to kind of loosen up everything. Uh, the material of this carpet was kind of hard uh, to... It was kind of hard to um, like remove stains and stuff, but for vacuuming and stuff, it was actually really nice. So at this point, I'm just doing um, every part of the vehicle: uh, passenger, driver, back, both, and then the both back seats. So as you guys can see here, I'm starting to um, spray down the seats with some APC. Uh, don't worry, it's not all the way um, just straight APC. It is diluted. It's just I diluted it in the bottle. And today I'm actually using the Bissell Pro Heat. Uh, it's like a super tiny uh, Bissell. And I'm going to be doing a deeper review on this sooner, uh, sooner or later. But I am using a light brush because I didn't feel like pulling out the... Um, what's it called the little drill brush so I just used a light brush on it uh, with really uh, light hairs that aren't gonna press because um, this is an older vehicle so you don't want to use super super um, like you know heavy uh, brush hairs on it or else it could uh, mess up the fabric and this fabric was kind of hard to actually uh, get through because the type of fabric that it is it's really hard fabric it's not soft to where you can easily extract through it um, so I definitely had to do a lot of work with scrubbing and stuff just to even get through uh, deeper than just the surface. And I'm kind of just repeating the same process for top and bottom. I start with kind of misting it with APC and then I go ahead and spray the Bissell uh, water just to kind of get it damped everywhere and then I scrub and then extract so here you guys can just get an idea I'm kind of doing the same thing on the carpets in the very very dirty area um, I do have a drill brush uh, not exactly a drill brush it's like a little brush attachment that's on a polisher but it works the exact same um, but I just didn't feel like plugging that in so I just did a little bit of manual labor and it kind of gives you guys an idea that don't have all the equipment of what other options you have So here, after I went ahead and did that, I went ahead and went back with an enzyme sprayer, which kind of breaks down dirt and, you know, blood and all types of crap like that. Um, and I just wanted to double over because I didn't have the steamer to work today. So I went ahead and I sprayed all the upholstery, carpet, everything like that with that and went ahead and just wiped it down. Uh, kind of just got a nice base coat 
of it, of like base coat of the dirt off with a towel. Here you guys can see I'm doing the center console. I just sprayed it with some APC, used a boar's hairbrush, and lightly went into the cracks and crevices of this center console. And you guys will see me pretty much just wipe it down. And that did the that did the job just fine, but it could have been quicker with a with a nice little steamer. Still working on the center console at this point. Uh, just doing a little armrest in the middle and it was pretty quick. A lot of the dirt came off really quick with the boar's hairbrush. Just a little bit of pressure goes a long way so you don't mess up the material. And it's all about the little details. Right here I'm working on the uh, seat belt little buckle thing and uh, I used a heavy brush at first. Uh, and then I use a light brush just to kind of get in the cracks a little bit better. So here you guys can see that I'm holding a vinyl VRP. Um, this is like a, um, I believe, leather, plastic, and vinyl protectant. So I'm just, um, you guys will see later in the video. I don't know why I put it in this part of the video, but um, in a few clips after I finish doing the dash and stuff, I go ahead and protect um, pretty much the whole car with VRP as it is an old car. So I kind of just, it protects and then it gives it a nice little sleek uh, shine finish to finish it off and once again I have no idea why I put that in this part of the video and I don't feel like editing it out So here's uh, me doing the door panel. I just use a different Boris hairbrush. And don't worry guys, I've been using these same looking towels, but they're all brand new and clean. Um, but I've used like three yellow ones in a row. So if you guys are anal about me using the same color, just know they are all different towels. I'm not using the same dirty towel for everything. Um, but kind of how I do it is I do upholstery first. Uh, that way it dries by the end of the detail in case the customer needs to go in their car somewhere right away. And then I kind of work from in to out. So I did the upholstery first, and then I did the middle center console, and then I worked my way out to the doors. Just making sure to get in all the cracks and crevices, opening the door handle so you can get in between, because sometimes people forget to open the door handle, and when the customer opens it and they see dirt and dust and a bunch of crap it looks very bad on you <laughs> recording one of the guys going away my cameraman's funny I believe I already put the VRP in that last clip it was really fast I, I literally just missed it but yeah that was just a quick little quick clip of me putting the VRP but this is the after of the vehicle um, you can see it cleaned up pretty well um, not insanely, um, you know, not not an insane transformation as there's still a bunch of stains and most of them are just stuck. Uh, here, <clears throat> the white spots, if you guys are wondering, is just a bunch of scratching damage. So um, it is an old vehicle, so those spots usually typically show up as white. Here is the back part of the vehicle. Um, a lot of the stains, those uh, little cushions right there, kind of like seats you can put up. And there were stains before under it that you guys saw and it definitely looks a lot better. Uh, so that's pretty much been the transformation guys 
um, obviously a lot better than what it was for the vehicle and a lot of you guys love the little pouring out so I went ahead and put this in there for you guys but if you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to hit that like comment subscribe button see you guys in the next one peace